the columns of the Apollo Temple from the ancient city of Hierapolis. 2,000 years ago, it surmounted a pool fed by hot springs. Cleopatra is said to have bathed here. Destroyed by earthquakes, the old temple site is now one of Turkey's famous tourist attractions. Hierapolis was built on top of hot springs, a geothermal resource that has inspired a new boom in Turkey, drilling for hot water. The energy source from underground is in high demand because it is sustainable and environmentally friendly, a clean way to produce electricity. This drilling operation is trying to hit an underground reservoir in central Anatolia, a region that so far has no geothermal power plants. The exploration is complicated and financially risky. To operate a power plant, several wells need to be drilled in order to provide the right amount of temperature and pressure. Extensive planning and research is a must. A typical well might cost in Turkey about one million dollars per kilometer. A typical well might be two, three kilometers deep, so uh, drilling a well uh, that might turn out to be dry and then you lose all your money might cost between two and three million dollars. Turkey's geothermal drilling industry is among the most competitive in the world. But private investors are often unable to shoulder the high cost and risk of geothermal exploration. In order to reduce the financial risks, a new initiative is backing exploratory drilling investments. Pluto, as the program is called, is supported by the Climate Investment Funds and the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development. We're launching this uh, early stage uh, geothermal program and the idea is to share the risks uh, with developers. Okay, MTA drilled one well last summer, which was a uh, dry well. A dry well. Risk financing not only results in increased use of Turkey's geothermal capacity, it also mandates the highest environmental standards. Not a minor detail. Drilling operations might release carbon dioxide from underground. It requires extra efforts and investments to offset or neutralize these emissions. And that's, I think, where the added value of institutions like ourselves is on the due diligence process to actually provide better capacity building, uh, higher standards and implement best practice. Turkey has an ambitious target. By 2023, it wants to harness 30% of its energy demand from renewable resources. And while solar and wind energy supply the largest share of the energy mix, it is only geothermal power that allows for a constant energy supply. Geothermal energy already heats over 90,000 households and supplies electricity to 1 million people in Turkey. The untapped potential is huge. Estimated at 4 gigawatts, it could supply 2.5 million households with electricity. There is only one direction for the exploration trend, forward.